Hey everyone, my name is Audrey and welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving you a new weekly reading vlog. So sorry about the noise, it's uh, not a very convenient time for me to film, but if I don't film right now, I'm not gonna film uh, at all. So we're just going to roll with it. So it's Monday, We just I just got back uh, from school, from teaching, and I wanted to uh, start the vlog. So this week, my goal is to finish, well, at least till the end of the month, so until the 28th, but um, when I finish this vlog, there's only going to be two days-ish left. So anyways, um, so my goal is to finish four of the books that I'm currently reading. So we have The Deep by River Solomon, which is on my reader. I have The Blood Trials by N.E. Devonport, also on my reader. I then have Ray Bear, which I haven't started yet, but I will start uh, probably this evening. And finally, A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. This one is a very chunky book, almost 700 pages, and it is a very tough read. So I'm going to try and... Uh, set myself a number of pages to read every day so I spread it out throughout the whole week uh, instead of just binge reading it because I feel like it's going to be a little bit too tough to binge read this and so far lately I've been on a roll like a huge roll it's very positive I'm so happy so happy that my reading is going very well I've been enjoying everything I've read so far this year like what a great start uh, for 2023 and uh, this couple of days, um, the last five days, I've been reading a lot. So I've read on the 15th, 162 pages, 76 pages on the 16th, 104 on the 17th, 149 on the 18th. 234 yesterday and today so far uh this morning i read 63 pages and i do want to read at least 200 pages more this evening i do want to get to some homework uh and get into uh my second class online class and see how that goes uh but i'm i'm gonna try to keep it to one hour of work and then i'll have to get my son uh ready for his bedtime routine and all that stuff and then get to reading so yeah that's uh, the plan for this week I am going to try also to edit some vlogs and catch up on uh, my editing starting tomorrow morning I was supposed to start this morning but I didn't I'm gonna try not to go to sleep too late because I end up not being able to get up early but We'll see. That's it for now, and I'll update you when I have a bit more. Hey everyone, so I didn't update yesterday. I whew, had a hard time. So I don't know the last time I updated this vlog. I am so confused because I'm editing like every day. Some, well, trying to edit every day, some vlogs uh, from December, and I'm like all confused with time now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I've said, what I've updated with. So my bad. Um, I read recently a bit of a killing, um, a brief history of seven killings. This is very hard to get to. It's not that I'm not liking it, but it's very hard to go through. And I feel like 
if I keep pushing, like there's no way I can uh, finish this book by the end of the month. Like I've been trying and it's hard to get through it because I do research a lot and I do have a mea culpa to make because first of all, I've been told that that what it, what it was. Um, and then I realized that like, that's not what happened. Um, so before any of you come for me, I'm sorry. If you know me, you know that I love to research things that I'm reading, that I'm interested in. So something like historical like this, I will be um, looking up on Google for stuff. I am not very familiar with uh, Bob Marley's career and life and stuff like that. Uh, I know who he is. I know a lot of his songs. I know that he died young, but that's that's pretty much it. So. When I was told it was uh, around the time of his assassination, I thought he died young. I didn't know he was assassinated. Okay, I guess it's something I didn't know. And like the word assassination and Bob Marley together, like it kind of made sense. I don't know. I probably just heard those two words uh, together. So it kind of made sense in my brain, but turns out he survived. It was an assassination attempt. He did not die. And I am sorry. He died young of cancer, but not from an assassination. So my bad. I'm sorry. So every time I said his assassination or whatever attempt, sorry. So yeah, I've been researching a lot because I'm just that curious and I want to understand it a bit more. And this is fiction. It's not actually uh, nonfiction. It's not like the case of like what happened, uh, police investigation and that stuff. It's not that at all. It's really fiction. And I like, I kind of like it, but it's so raw and so violent. And I wouldn't say like dark, dark, but it's, it, there's a lot of, violence sa um it's very uncalled for and raw there's also this chapter where this character takes some uh illicit substance and it really reads as that character goes through being in that state so like i really enjoy how the the author put it in like the way that he writes it it is written as spoken by the Jamaican culture. So I'm not used to hearing it or mostly reading it. So it, it does take me a little bit of time to go through it and understand it right, because I do want to understand it and not just go past it and just not mind it. I'm getting used to it by now. I'm on page 80. So I, I am getting used to it by now, but yeah, it doesn't read as fast as I would read uh, any other book. So this is probably not going to be finished by the end of the month for Blackathon. I will finish it in March, obviously. But I think that because of the violence that is in here, I think I need to uh, break it down in like just small parts here and there uh, instead of trying to pushing, pushing it through because it's just a very daunting and whew, hard but I am enjoying it and enjoying this author's writing though. Um, the way that he portrays these characters, because that's the thing, the characters, I think there's like, there's a lot of characters. And I think like there's so far one or two characters that are like morally gray, but like that I could like root for the others. Like they're just, I mean, I don't know. I just don't want to root for them. It's like they're they're the mean guys, but they're not. They're not, but they are. I just kind of don't want to root for them because, uh, yeah, they're uh, planning an assassination. They are they are not likable. Uh, they are in the streets and not like and going about and doing whatever they want to whomever passes their way. So yeah, it's hard to root for them. And I cannot speak about representation for this book. Knowing that the author is Jamaican, I do trust that the rep is good, but it's a lot about the ghetto. So it's not necessarily representative of all uh, people in Jamaica in general. It's 
I've never been there. I'm not from that culture. I cannot talk about that. Um, but it feels very authentic to me, to my knowledge. So far, I would be very curious to hear reviews. Uh, I'm probably gonna check reviews of this book to see to see if I can find uh, on voice reviews of this one for sure. So uh, I didn't do much progress in the other books, but I will uh, this. Rest of the week, rest of the vlog, I do want to prioritize the three other books uh, that I had that I wanted to do. So today is the first day of the end of the month Rainy Rush Challenge. So I will be trying to finish The Deep, The Blood Trials, uh, because that one read so fast. Like the first part, 133 pages like this. So I'm not worried that I'll be able to finish the whole 900 pages of uh, the blood trials by the end of the month. Uh, the deep, I have 200 pages left, so that's easy to go through. It reads fast as well. And then, and then I want to read Ray, Ray Bear. Uh, so this one is just under 400 pages. So it shouldn't be, um, too bad as well. I'm going to focus on those three books and then um, make some progress, uh, but not like there's no hope for finishing this one uh, by the end of the month. But if I get those three, I'll be very, very happy with that. And I'll have read six books for the month. So that's actually really, really good. That's a plan page count wise. It's been going very good. Um, but I did only read uh, 42 pages yesterday because I did fall asleep. Uh, but the day before that, 69 pages. So not too bad. I'm I'm keeping up with my goal of 60 pages per day. So I'm happy with that. Uh, in the long run, it's going to pay off for sure. And that's it for now. I do need to get ready for work and uh, shower, get my lunch ready and all that good stuff. Uh, for today. So on that note, I'll see you a bit later. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a little bit of an update for now. Sunday, I didn't read that much on Friday. I did not do what I was supposed to do on Saturday. I did take, I did spend some time with my son, which is something that's very important for me. And I took a little bit more time than I usually do. So I didn't have that much time left to read and I didn't go to sleep right away. So yeah, I ended up only sleeping maybe four hours and then reading, trying to read, not as much as I wanted, but I did read uh, a good bit of The Blood Trials, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I did end up finishing The Deep by Rivers Solomon. I don't think I've talked about it so far in this vlog, so here I am. Yeah, The Deep was amazing. It was that good, strongly recommend. And I was rereading Ashley's um, from Bookish Realm, her Goodreads review, and she did say at the beginning that some people think it's just this regular mermaid fantasy type of novella, because it's more of a novella than a novel, and it's just so much more than that. And I'm so glad that I watched her review before actually getting into the book, because I probably would have seen the magical mermaid stuff first even if I think I would have seen the comparison and metaphors that are in here but yeah I'm really glad I, I got to uh, watch that review first so I'll try to uh, link that video uh, in my description if you want to check it out but yeah this book was amazing it's my second book of Rivers Solomon and the first book I've read from them was Sorrowland and it was harder to read. It was more like horror type of book. Whereas this one, yes, it's a tough book. Less descriptive in a way because it doesn't describe like the horror parts, if that makes sense. There's no gore, there's no... Like what happened to these women is horrible, but it's written in this amazing way and 
it's so respectful for these women and the way that it's written. It was amazing. It talks about a lot of topics about culture, about traditions, about embracing where you come from, embracing your own history and making it your own. And at the same time, wanting to erase that memory in order to make some new ones. Um, but it's not always that black and white and it's so complex and it's not easy. And I know it's something that people from different cultures, uh, whether it's Native Americans or Black people or immigrants of whatever culture, I know that that's something people struggle with a lot. Um, and I loved the discussion and the thought process behind that and what it brought my own thought process on that. And the main character does develop uh, a relationship with another character, which I thought was so lovely, so sweet uh, and amazing. I really, really loved it. Amazing book, strongly recommend. And next I made some progress in uh, the blood trials. I'm now on page 252. So I read maybe 50-ish pages um, during my night shift. And then yesterday I read another 70, 80 pages. Um, not exactly as much as I wanted to, but I'm very confident that I'll be able to finish this one today, hopefully. I do have a lot of work to do though. And honestly, I'm a little bit stressed out um, because well, it says here 10 hours to go. I don't think it's going to take me 10 hours. It's there's 700 pages left, which means, uh, yeah, 11, 11 hours and two thirds. Um, so yeah. Okay. 10, 10 hours wasn't uh, that bad of an estimate. So no, I'm not going to finish this today, but hopefully during the night, during tomorrow morning, as fast as possible. <laughs> That's the main goal. I only have like two and a half days left. I'm still enjoying it. So it's 25% through still enjoying it. I am trying to figure out like who done it. I don't know if I've talked about this book uh, so far, but you follow, um, I don't know if it's Ikenna or Ikenna. They sometimes make it short to Kenna. So I'm, I'm just gonna stick with Kenna. You follow Kenna, who is one of the only black people who attend this academy to become this super soldier. It's like above being soldiers. They're called Praetorians. So uh, yeah, they're like elite warriors and she has been training to become a Praetorian. In this world, there was a big, big war where there was uh, blood magic related to a pantheon, uh, gods and stuff. Grandfather actually was uh, a top officer Praetorian, uh, he died. And he's the one who raised Kenna and she's been grieving about it a lot. And she was being reckless because of her grief. And then the day before um, the actual day where they declare themselves uh, to become Praetorians, her grandfather's best friend tells her that he thinks her grandfather was murdered. So she's trying to be a spy. Uh, she gets back on track like this so she can be a spy and try and find out who did it. And then when they declare themselves, there are huge, huge trials and it's like a de life and death situation. If you don't make it through the trials, you're going to die. That's it. High stakes, very high stakes, which I really, really love. And honestly, it's giving me sci-fi and, and it gives a little bit of dystopian vibes. And when I started reading at all, uh, as an adult, I was looking into dystopian, I was reading The Hungry Games, and I've been looking for those type of books a lot when I finished The Hunger Games. And honestly, I was never satisfied. I hated The Maze Runner. I hated, uh, what's the other one? Um, they made the movie Divergent. I hated it. And I couldn't find any other good dystopians. And honestly, this book was exactly what I was looking for all that time. Like 
a high stakes situation with a lot of political intrigues, going through trials. It really gives me the vibe uh, of a book that I've been longing for um, all those years. So, so far, I'm really happy with where I'm at. We're still in trials. It's still very tough, a very intense, uh, very extreme. And I don't know who um, the actual murderer is. Honestly, I have a couple of ideas, but there's no actual hint that they may actually be the ones. Uh, not at this point. Anyways, I'm not that far into it into the book anyways, but Kenna does follow one specific person that she thinks and believes is the one who murdered her grandfather. And I'm convinced that's not it. He's definitely not going to be the one, uh, but he probably knows more than he's letting on. Um, but I'm very curious to, to see where it's going to go. But yeah, Right now, today, I haven't slept either, but I am going to just work as much as possible and try to get some reading done because my grades are due uh, tomorrow on Monday uh, and I want to get rid of all of that today so I don't have to deal with that tomorrow. I do have a full day tomorrow, so I won't have time to deal with uh, anything of that sort. And I do need to write to um, the school board because uh, there are some things in the app that isn't matching what it's supposed to match. So uh, hopefully I'll only have those tiny issues left to correct um, tomorrow and then I'll be done with it. So I've done maybe not, not quite half of it yet and I'm gonna take a break, read some more and then come back to it and then I'll read some more and then I need to do my um, bookkeeping homework which is going to be the last one very happy and then I'll just have the two uh, exams left to do it's in two parts so I'll probably just do like one part and the other part uh, we'll see how long it takes me to do them but yeah and then read some more and then we'll see where we go from there but uh, yeah I've had a scare yesterday for my computer. I tried to do like my grade stuff during my night shift and my laptop currently doesn't work without uh, it being plugged in because the battery is that dead. But it doesn't recognize the charger and it's the second time this happens to me. The first time around, they just changed my uh, charger. and But I did mention to the text that um, I felt like the socket was very loose and they told me it wasn't that, it was fine. But yeah, it's still having a connection problem. So I'm I'm pretty sure there's something with that socket because that charger is new and there's no way it's already dead. Like I've never had a laptop charger die that much. I mean, phone chargers, sure, all the time. Go through them a lot, unfortunately. But laptop charger, not really. So yeah, I'm kind of confused. And uh, I don't have all of the money yet to buy myself my Mac. I need to wait another two months-ish. So I'm kind of stressed. And my husband doesn't like that I use his computer because he feels like I'm overrunning his computer. Even if he has enough RAM, it's the CPU stuff. Um, specs that probably are overrunning and he's it's making a sound that my husband doesn't like so I don't want to overuse uh, that either because then we'll have like a way bigger problem so I don't know what to do I'm I'm stressed very stressed so yeah hopefully I'll be able to continue on for the next two months but we shall see on that note i am going to take some coffee and read hey everyone so it's now monday evening i didn't have time to update and close this vlog this morning so here i am i made some progress in the blood trials i'm now on page 
472, so less than 500 pages left to go. Will I be able to finish this tonight? I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. I did not have a great day at all. It's been tough these last few days. So yeah, I am taking time for myself. It's very important. And uh, that means reading. So yeah, I'm going to focus on that. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll be able to finish reading. Um, because there's only one day left of February. And I did want to finish uh, Slay for the buzzword of fun, which I haven't read anything that fit uh, the prompt, which was to read a book with a verb in the title. So yeah, um, reading wise, the blood trials I've been really enjoying. Some things I feel like are very, very obvious, but our main character doesn't see them. And other things I did not see coming kind of came out of the blue and there are some other things that are mysterious and I can't wait to see like what's the explanation for so yeah really enjoying it honestly this book is exactly what I was looking for when I finished the Hunger Games and I was looking for more dystopian books and it's pretty much what I was looking for when I picked up Divergent and I hated Divergent I felt like those books were horrible. I did not like them. I felt that the writing was terrible. The plot was full of plot holes. It didn't all fit together well. I found it hard to follow and to believe actually. I was quite disappointing and underwhelming. But this book is amazing so far. Uh, hopefully it will continue on that path for the second half of this book. If you want to see me finishing this book, you can check on my next vlog that I'm going to finish right after filming of this clip. So thank you so much for watching as always. I really appreciate when you watch my videos. Like, comment and subscribe if you wish. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.